All right, so I'm going to order some food at my little barbecue place here. Bike's parked down there. It's time for another China How It Is. Oh, this is it. Okay, I'm not sure if you heard that, but I've just ordered a, a, a bag of tissues. Now, something interesting that you'll notice is most Chinese restaurants you go to, they'll give you or put on the table a bag of tissues. Uh, when I got here, I thought it was a bit odd, but there's a reason for it, and I'll explain to you in a minute. All right, as you can see, my bag of tissues has arrived. Now, they'll charge you usually one renminbi for a bag of tissues. If you don't use it, then they won't charge you. You can, you can tell them you didn't use it, they'll take it away. I've got another bag over here from another restaurant. This is the usual kind you get. Um, basically, it's got the restaurant's name there, which is uh, says Dongbei Jiaozi uh, Guang or whatever, Bina, whatever, one of the two, I can't remember. And, ah, usual thing, it's got adverts on the inside. And, uh, yeah, tissues, of course. You might wonder, why is it people give tissues everywhere at all the different restaurants? Well, there's a reason for that, and I'll explain it to you in a minute. It's cooking something pretty interesting over there. It keeps moving it around. So it's cool to try the different kind of snacks and whatever street foods that you find here in, in the villages. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> okay, back to the whole tissue thing. Why on earth do you find tissues in, in the restaurants? Well, I used to ask myself this, because usually, you know, in the West we don't get this kind of thing. Um, usually we'll get a few a free serviette or a couple of serviettes on the table um, okay now I soon found out how useful these things are okay not only are they good for you know wiping your mouth or something after you've finished eating maybe cleaning a little mess on the table but actually the the biggest use is that this is basically your toilet paper because public toilets in China do not have toilet paper um, it's a nasty business. You get into a toilet somewhere and uh, there's just no toilet paper, you know. What can you do? End up using receipts or, in extreme cases, your socks. Basically, there's just no option. The toilet system here is a little odd. I guess the plumbing just can't handle toilet paper. So, not only do they not have toilet paper, but if you do go use your toilet paper, you have to then go and put your used toilet paper in a, in a small dustbin next to the toilet rather than actually flush it in the toilet which is quite disgusting so um, you'll quite often go into a toilet and you'll see some like used toilet paper in this dustbin uh, yeah it's not great which brings me onto the whole toilet thing um, the kind of toilets you get in China are squat toilets now it's not only China most of Asia use squat toilets of course I wasn't really aware of this until I actually came here and you find yourself uh, faced with a sort of hole in the floor and you wonder what you're supposed to do with it. Well, not only am I going to show you one or two of these squat toilets a little later, I'll try and explain to you how you're supposed to use them. Alright, <clears throat> so that's what you're going to see. This is an exception to the rule, they do have toilet paper, but they have that disgusting little dustbin. I'm not going to go any closer because I do not want you to see what terrors lurk within. Anyway, that is a squat toilet and that is what you'll find. Even in, I will tell you, at a later stage, where you can find western style toilets. Anyway, this is kind of weird filming in a toilet, so I'm uh, getting out of here. Hey guys, I know I'm doing that whole skip around uh, strange editing thing here, but uh, as you know we're talking about uh, Chinese toilets and tissues. Um, <clears throat> now you might think for a minute that, uh, hey, you know, um, 
I need a Western toilet, so why don't I go to a Western franchise like McDonald's or KFC or Burger King, because you do get Burger King here now. Um, you know, surely they have Western toilets there. Wrong. Very, very, very wrong. They do not have Western toilets there. And, uh, well, I suppose I just better show you. All right, so uh, here we have a very normal McDonald's, McCafe, whatever place. I'm gonna go in there and let's see what kind of toilets we can find. All right, usual urinals, but here's the toilet. So you thought you were safe, did you? As you will notice though, in the McDonald's and stuff, they usually have toilet paper, that's one good thing. That is how you flush, you actually stand on that thing. Like so. That was not supposed to happen. Well, should make the video more exciting anyway. <laughs> Let me battle with it. That is how you flush, all right? Just stand on that thing. There we go. Anyway. So, <clears throat> how do you actually use one of these toilets? <clears throat> well, I decided I'd go out and take a few photos of some local people chilling out. It might give you an idea. See, since uh, Chinese people, well, Asian people in general, since they're young, they kind of get used to this position, this squat position, which, you know, foreigners like you and me, uh, we don't really ever get used to it because we never have to squat on our toilets, etc. It's kind of odd. You'll find people squatting rather than sitting. <clears throat> so if there's a ledge or a bench or something nearby, you know, instead of actually sitting on it, you'll find people squatting next to it or even on it. And uh, I think this has something to do with a fear of dirt, perhaps. Or maybe it's just more comfortable for them to squat because they're used to that position. So as you can see, if you're capable of just sitting like this, squatting like this, it's very self-explanatory how you use a toilet like that. Um, unfortunately, it takes <laughs> a lot of getting used to, a lot of balance, etc. if you're a foreigner, to try and figure that out. And most of the time you find yourself leaning against the wall with your one arm or trying to hold on to the bottom of the door in front of you, all sorts of weird stuff. So... Um, until you can squat like these people in these pictures that I took randomly on the street, I suggest that you try and use a western toilet. Alright, come back. Now, thankfully, most modern apartments that you rent do have western style toilets in them um, which is a great thing of course when I first got here of course uh, I couldn't use the Chinese toilets it just wasn't possible uh, you know it's just the logistics of the whole thing it's it's really weird for a, a foreigner who's never used one before so I found myself in situations where I just had to basically look around for a, a nice big hotel you know anything that's sort of three three star or above usually has public toilets on the ground floor near the lobby and to walk in and sort of pretend I was a guest kind of thing just walk in nonchalantly and go to the, use the bathroom um, and yeah that's pretty much what I ended up doing in the beginning because you know if you need to go to the bathroom when you're out in public uh, you know you don't really have a choice uh, Western style bathrooms are incredibly difficult to find um, and they still are nothing has changed so My advice to you guys is to quite honestly if you need if you can feel that need to go to the toilet You make sure you take care of it before you leave your apartment or your hotel Because uh, when you're out there at a restaurant or whatever you will not find a Western style toilet and if by some weird chance you do you'll find that the seat has scuff marks and all over it's dirty because the Chinese people actually stand on the, you know, on the toilet seat um, because they're not used to sitting on a western style toilet so it's, uh, it's kind of a weird situation so yeah, take care of your urges before you leave <clears throat> lovely, lovely traffic okay, now let me continue um, I would like to tell you how to say toilet in Chinese because it's handy to know if you need to ask where one is. This is of course once you've got the hang of the whole 
Chinese toilet thing. Um, now, just like in, in the West, we have different ways to say the toilet. Uh, you know, we say bathroom to be more polite. You know, if you're having dinner with other people and, and you ask, uh, where's the bathroom? It's a bit more polite than saying, where's the toilet? Because it doesn't conjure that image in your, in your mind. Um, so, for toilet, they say tsusuo. Uh, I'll put the characters here, tsusuo. And for uh, bathroom, they say shisho jian, which means, you know, wash hands room. So it's a little more polite. Uh, there's another word, wei sheng jian, blah, blah, blah. But look, let's just stick to the basics. Another thing that is very amusing to me is that uh, in China, a lot of people say WC. Where's the WC? And when I got here, I had no idea what the hell they were talking about. It turns out WC, you know, it's like 18th century British for water closet, you know, like really old terminology that they use. So you can also ask for the WC and most people will understand you, but I mean, it's just a little weird. So, Shisho Jian or... Oh, that looks horribly fucking hygienic, doesn't it? See that? Guy's delivering uh, split pigs on the back of his motorbike. I don't really feel the need to eat pork around this area anymore.